Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Mass key skill video on finding the radius of a sector given its arc length and angle. And remember, sector just means a slice of a circle. You can think of it as a pizza slice. And remember that an arc is some portion of the circumference of the circle. So if the circumference is the full way around the circle, the full perimeter, an arc is just some portion of it. So the area is a sector, this curved length here is known as an arc. And remember that the formula for the length of an arc was this. So arc length was equal to, we start with the circumference of a full circle, so the full length of the circle, 2 pi r, is the circumference of a circle, where r is the radius. And remember, pi is just a special number in mass, meaning 3.14, 15, etc. But we've got it on our calculator, so we don't have to remember it. And then, well, if that gives us the length of the full circle, we just want some portion of it. So what portion of it do we want? Well, whatever this angle is, let's call it theta, we do theta 360 of a full circle. So if I've got a diagram like this, I've got an angle theta here and a radius r, and I want to find this arc length here. I want to do theta 360 of the full circumference of a circle. So that's the key formula that we need to use. So let's just fill in all the information we have and just shove it into this formula here. So, what is the arc length? We're told that is equal to 10. What is theta? The angle at the centre of the circle, that's 35. So 35 over 360 times by 2 pi r. We don't know what r is, so we're just going to leave it as r. And then this just becomes a case of solving an equation. We need to find out what the value of r is, because that's the one unknown in our equation. Now let's just do it bit by bit. I don't like fractions in circles, so I want to get rid of that divided by 360. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 360 first. And 10 times 360 is 3,600. And the timesing by 360 gets rid of that over 360, leaving 35. You don't want to times this by 360 as well. That just stays as 2 pi r. So this is a bit simpler now. Uh, I could simplify this if I wanted to. So 35 times 2 pi r, well, 35 times 2 is 70. And then we've still got the pi r. And now this r has been multiplied by 70 pi. So let's divide both sides of the equation by 70 pi. So I do 3,600 divided by 70 pi. And that gives me 16.4 to three second figures. And dividing by 70 pi gets rid of that times by 70 pi, leaving just r. And what is a unit? Well, the arc length was in centimetres, so the radius is also going to be in centimetres. And that was to three significant figures. We should probably specify what we rounded it to. 